Manchester United beat Everton 2-0 as Alejandro Garnacho wins po- wins two penalties. Jules, did you see signs of progress? Absolutely not. No, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see anything with the ball from a Manchester United point of view. Okay, so when you take the lead, you control the game. I understand that, even if you are home. But I thought it was laborious in the way they play. I don't think there was much rhythm to it. Again, I know there's a lot of players injured and when Rashford plays through the middle, we've said that before as a nine, it's not the best and I get it all, but it was not convincing for me. They won, it's the most important, good on them, but I was just not happy. I didn't like the performance. Yeah, and this this is an Everton team, by the way, who've, uh, who are struggling of late as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not a good performance, as I view it though. However, Gab, Eric Ten Hag clearly had a diff- different view than I did because he was annoyed when he was asked about the fact that United gave up 23 shots on target, on goal, uh, against Everton, pointing out that United expected goal was far higher than the one of Everton's. You like your analytics, as we know, and your data. Is Eric Ten Hag right then? Um, so there's a couple things, I think. I'm going to give Eric Ten Hag some, some messaging advice here, right? It's very, very simple. I can't wait for this. No, I can't. All you wait. have to do. All weekend I thought about this, you know? All weekend I thought about this. Okay. All right, actually, I, all you have to do is come out and say, we won. We're a couple points away from from sixth place, from from, from sorry, from from, uh, uh, from fifth place. Yeah. Right, we're six on the table. This season, it's been a nightmare. No Lisandro, no Maguire, no Wambasaka, no Shaw, no Hoyled, no Martial, no this, no that, no Mount. Who you can all laugh at, but cost us fifty five million. Yeah. Okay, I it's difficult for me. And we got three wins, so please don't come and break my balls on this occasion, okay? We're doing the best we can. Let's move forward and celebrate the win. That's all you have to yep. come out and say. Instead, you want to bring up expected goals? You want to get in the realm of analytics? First of all, there's a reason why people talk about NP. XG, which is non-penalty expected goals, because obviously when somebody gives away a penalty, you don't quite know. That's really not part necessarily, can be, might not be part of your attacking actions. Yes, if you count the expected goals, it's 2.64 to 1.77 to, to Manchester United, if you count the penalties. Yeah. If you don't penalty, count the penalties... The XG of a penalty is 0. 0.78. 0. Yeah. yeah. If you don't count it, it's 1.08 to 1.77, which is not good. The 23 shots conceded, not good. Um, and if you, honestly, the worst thing you can do, Eric, at this stage, is bring up data, right? You're seventh in the league uh, on shots. You are 17th in shots conceded, right? Uh, that's, I mean, four up from the bottom, which is really not good. Your uh, XG goal difference is 12th. So is your non-penalty XG goal difference. Uh, your uh, non-penalty XG goals conceded is 16th. You are not doing well by the numbers. You're not doing great by the eye test. You're doing, I think, okay, given all the injuries, by the results. So just yeah. message that and leave it at that. Don't get into other things because you're just opening up a can of worms. You know, it's tr- I think this is my theory, and I said it on Friday night in the FC show, because in his, pre- in his pre-match conference, he was already a bit, he said... So he's won 60, 60, 62 now of his 101 games at United. He said, yeah, but if I had all my players uh, fit and available, I would have won 75 easily. How do you know? Well, it's How can just, you make so up don't... that? So I think every time he can talk, so pre-match press conferences, post-match interviews, because he knows that it's more likely that he's going to get sacked in the summer, that he needs to try to save his job, he's thinking, I need to say something here to show... Sergeant Radcliffe, Brailsford, Jean-Claude right. Blanc, that I'm doing the good job. So he lied. So this is a lie. All of this is not true. He, he lies to himself. He lies to people by coming up with those statements. I, I, don't I would have won 75 games if I... I, I don't know. Look, I don't he know if it's that. Things. I don't know if he has some to some nerd uh, PR guy who feeds him stuff. This is you don't you don't come across well when you say that. Just stick to the facts. The facts is He's you're six, which isn't ideal, but then you have all these injuries. And if look, I'm okay with him saying if all my guys had been fit and I had a chance to work with my guys, Just, we would have been far higher up the table. Yeah. And you know what? Maybe that's true. And that's fine. That's but all you have to be say. Be honest. When you don't play well, just say you don't play well. Your you're fans not a know you don't dude. play well. Exactly.